What is going on, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Burly Fishing, or thanks for stopping by if this is your first time coming to the channel. Today, we've got another unboxing for you guys, and it's uh, possibly my favorite unboxing of the month. This is the Monster Bass Regional Box. This is for the month of August 2020. This box right here holds a whole lot of top water, and we're going to talk about that today. I'm going to rip that box open here in just a second, but first, if this is your first time coming to the channel, or for some reason you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing if you like the content. Smash that like button, ring that notification bell so you can see when we post more videos, because guess what? We're doing it again, folks. This month, there will be a giveaway at the end of the month, so you need to stay tuned for that. On a video that we drop at the end of the month, which will include all of the boxes that we open this month, including Six Sense Mystery Tackle Box, Monster Bass, and Warrior Tackle Supply, we will be reviewing all of the baits that we got from the unboxings after I fished them on the water and attempted a uh, slam. We're not going to call it a slam anymore. You know what? We're going to call it an on the water review. That's how I close out all my videos. We'll see you guys out on the water. So we're going to call it an on the water review. I'm going to start doing that for every single month, for every single box, so you guys can see not only are these baits like, eh, I don't know, good looking, do they look fishy, do they look like it might catch a fish? We want to see if they actually do catch fish, and I want to test the action on the water as well, so I can give you guys maybe some tips, maybe some tricks as to like how I caught those fish. My setups, rod, reel, line, where I was throwing it, how I was retrieving it, all that stuff, because I think that could be helpful for you guys. I don't know. Let me know if you think it's helpful or beneficial. Drop me a line in the comments. With that giveaway, what I'll be doing is taking this here lure lock box and filling it with eight baits from this month's unboxings, and including three bags of plastics, as well as a burly fishing t-shirt, hat, and a sticker for you guys. So one lucky winner will be walking away with that. I'll be shipping it out to somebody who is a subscriber, likes that video, helps us get that video to a thousand likes in order to unlock that giveaway, and then drops a comment with the hashtag burly fishing, B-U-R-L-Y-F-I-S-H-I-N-G. We can spell, it's cool. Uh, so <laughs> drop a comment on that video and you are entered for a chance to win that. I'll be picking a random comment and shipping straight to them. You don't have to worry about shipping. I got you covered. So if you wanna win some stuff, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned till the end of the month when we drop that video. Without further ado, we're gonna bust open this here box, the Monster Bass Regional Box, which retails for 35 bucks. We're looking for about $50 in value of baits from this box. I'll walk you guys through what's in here as well as the assessed retail value of these baits if we got a card in here for you, uh, just so you guys know. Also, if you wanna get this exact box and save some money, click my link in the description below. Go and order a box. You can use the code SAVE15 to get $15, not percent, dollars off of your order and enjoy some fishing. This box is 35 bucks, so you're getting it for 20. I can't math today. That's fine. Whatever. Anyways, let's crack this bad boy open, huh? It's not how you use a knife. Don't do that. Oh, it's so pretty. I like that they're doing like this paper inside of it now. It looks so good. It looks so nice. It's the top water box, guys. It is the tail end of summer, the dog days of summer, if you will. We've had a heat wave here in the Midwest and it's just starting to come down a little bit, but it's in like this sweet spot range where I've got a lot of like 80 to 85 degree weather days. It's bright sunshiny days sometimes, overcast sometimes, but still that heat is popping. So the water temp is up, these bass are active and they're really hitting that top water. I've had a lot of success on hollow body baits, had some success on whopper ploppers, we've had success on buzz baits, and I think we're gonna get a good combination of some of those things in this here box. So let's start with the first bait and get this thing going. First things first, we have an Excite Baits Buzz Fire. This is a buzz bait. It's a good looking buzz bait actually. Not super familiar with Excite Baits. Uh, I mean, I know they've been around for a while. I've gotten some plastics and stuff from them. Oh look, there's some Excite Baits right there, wow. Uh, so this buzz bait here, what weight is this? Three eighths of an ounce, it's a good weight, I think, for a buzz bait. That would be probably the most common I would throw. Well, it's kinda cool. So it's actually got, typically with a buzz bait, you're gonna have like this right angle up here. You're gonna have the, the buzz, right? The blade that spins. 
and it makes sort of this metal clangy clattery country twangy kind of sounding music for the fishies it's going to make a lot of noise right and it's going to also move because of the way these blades spin it's going to move a lot of water on the top so this is something that looks kind of similar to a spinner bait chatter bait it's one of those like wire baits and you're going to run it right across the top of the water it's going to run sort of sideways see this fish head here it's going to lay kind of sideways as you burn it right and as you're burning it over the top of like shallow cover shallow grass shallow, shallow beds things like that it's going to clang a whole bunch piss off some bass they're going to swoop out and they're going to strike it right what i like to do with these baits is actually throw a trailer hook on here as well same thing i would do with a spinner bait and that's just going to ensure a higher percentage of hookups right you're going to miss less if they're kind of just swinging at this thing and you're not getting a chance to get a hookup looking at this bait I would say, honestly, like the skirt is okay. Like it could be a little bit better. Um, the colors are nice though. So I got like this white and black and blue in there. So it's got more of like a shad pattern to it. Fish head here, the weight of the bait really is, you know, yellow and black with a little scaly pattern on it too. Eyes look great. I think the bait looks really good. The sound is good. I've got some buzz baits that are extremely noisy, and this is more of like the amount of noise that I think would be appropriate or something I would like to throw where I'm at. Uh, yeah, and hook's fine. We're going to throw a trailer hook on it anyway. So I don't know. I don't fish buzz baits a whole ton. This is going to get me outside of my comfort zone. And as I've told you guys before, that's part of the reason I get these boxes. So I want to try new baits. You know, if you want to be a really good fisherman, it's good to step outside or fish a woman. It's good to step outside of your comfort zone and try new baits and techniques. So that way, if you find yourself in a situation where a buzz bait would really kill it, you now know how to fish a buzz bait. And you might have a few because you've got these boxes. So you can cast one out and catch a bass. So that is the Excite buzz bait, three eighths of an ounce. Next up, we got the Monster Bass Patriot 2.0. You guys know how I feel about house baits, even if it's from Monster Bass. That said, positives I can say about this bait. They do know that it is made in the US. It has really good hooks. Um, I've seen it in action. I know it works really well. So I'm gonna be open-minded to it as I try to be with most house baits. If you guys watched my Warrior Tackle Supply unboxing, you might've seen that I uh, maybe said house baits, ew. Uh, <laughs> that's because that's sort of everybody's first reaction to it, right? But you gotta recognize like, sure, they're made in like the same sort of factories as some of the better baits out there. They're just not a name brand, whatever. At the end of the day for me, it's like, does it fish well? And those three house baits that I had, they didn't fish well. So I didn't enjoy it, right? And I do have high hopes for this. I do think it's really well made. I don't know if you guys got some of the house baits from Monster Bass back in the day, uh, but honestly, this is a huge upgrade to it. It looks good. This is a topwater walking bait. You got two hooks on it. Front hook, the front treble is red. It's a little more visually appealing to the bass. It looks like maybe a wounded, injured bait fish that's fighting for survival on the top of the water. So last little flutters of life in it, right? It's making a lot of noise. There sounds like there's about 87 rattles in here. So it's got a lot of noise trying to attract fish to it. Uh, if you guys fish uh, spooks like Super Spook Juniors, the, the Zara Spook series stuff, it's gonna walk kind of like that, but I do like this curved body to it. It looks like it's going to, because it's hollow as well, it's gonna be buoyant. It's gonna move a little bit more erratically on top of the water because of that curve, and it might even splash a little bit more. Um, but I mean, honestly, look at the detail on this thing. That's just straight sick. Like the, the paint on this versus the house baits from Warrior Tackle Supply, for example. This is like a next level thing. Look at the eyes on that thing too. That's freaking dope. It looks kind of like, uh, <laughs> this, is, this is like a, a dude from a metal band, is it not? <laughs> just like the, the eye shadow. This is just like the angsty topwater bait that's like, I hate my dad. I'm gonna start singing for a living. I'll show you dad. And then it's gonna go catch some bass. It's pretty freaking sweet. I like that bait. I like it. For a house bait, I'm gonna give it like, one thumbs up. We'll see if it fishes, then maybe it gets two thumbs up. Uh, next up, I've been interested in these for a while. So this is the Z-Man Elastec Finesse Frogs. I've been looking for these. I don't know if you guys look for these, but 
shoot, like all the fishing gear is out at all the stores in the world. Like one of those online stores is like your best bet. And even there, you're not getting a lot of options. So this is the Finesse Frogs with a Z from Z-Man. It's a Laztec, so you know it's dope. You guys know I fish Z-Man stuff all the time on Ned Rigs. This is one that you're going to actually use like an EWG hook in, right? So check it out, there's your Elastec. You know this thing's super hyper durable. This is a frog that won't break. So the rigging for this is you're gonna take an EWG hook, something like this, you're gonna punch it right through the front nose hole, whatever you wanna call it right there. You're gonna bring it out like a quarter inch below that. You're gonna bring it down so we're up to the elbow of that EWG right there. And we're just gonna take this hook, we're gonna punch it through the belly, comes out like that, slide your bait up, and then you're just gonna skin hook that hook point right where the bait tells you to. So we got like this little hook hider section right there. And you can flip this too, if you wanted maybe the darker color on bottom, but it's designed to be this light color, which is the flat section there. Uh, and then the bumpy section is like the frog's eyes or whatever. So there you go. That's how it's gonna look as you fish it along the top of the water. And then you've got these little boots, these little booties coming off the back there, which are gonna be spinning and kicking up some water as it goes, right? So it's gonna look pretty good. Obviously it's super light. Um, this is a finesse frog. You can throw it on a lighter wire hook. Honestly, this EWG is probably too big. You can see I'm, I'm hooked way in the back here. I would do a, maybe a lighter wire, like a one knot, as well as maybe a shorter hook than this one right here. You want a hook that's gonna line up well here. So this is too long. So we go to a shorter, lighter wire EWG hook, and then it's something I'm gonna sh throw on my lighter gear because this weighs nothing and I wanna be able to huck it out to a good spot, right? So finesse setup. You could of course swim it subsurface. This does not have to be a top water. So you could also maybe throw like a, an eighth of an ounce or less like weight, uh, like a flipping weight, worm weight at the top of the hook. And you can swim it underneath the surface. It's still gonna move a lot, it's still gonna look really good. Still that Z-Man tough plastic. So you know it can take a few bites and keep on kicking. In fact, so we got these Katana OWG hooks, which is an offset wide gap hook instead of an extra wide gap. Uh, rookie fisherman here. Difference? Uh, I don't know, looks the same to me. So we got these offset wide gap hooks. These are all a, what is this, a three-aught, four-aught, four-aught. So these are all in the four-aught size. Honestly though, like, these are, these are still too long for these frogs. So it's still too long for the body of that frog. You could get it done, but, I mean, you can't go wrong with having extra hooks. The terminal tackle is like the boring stuff we forget about, and as much as I'm like you guys, I don't like always getting hooks in my boxes. It is necessary to catch a fish that you have hooks. Uh, so it is an important piece. Uh, not gonna be my favorite bait in this box, but it is important and it's going right in the terminal tackle box. But I'm still gonna use a shorter, lighter wire hook probably to throw that finesse frog on. Next two we'll knock out real quick. We got our sticker, which is this dope looking bass with this like Patagonia looking background saying monster bass on it. Love this design. It, it's something I got on a t-shirt recently. They launched a whole bunch of new apparel on the site. Go check it out. They got new hats. They got new shirts, monsterbass.com. Uh, but it's a pretty slick sticker and it's something I'm going to definitely use. Put that over here. All right. Ooh, <laughs> bruh. Next up, we actually have some fluoro line. We got some K9 fluoro, says super strong, nanotechnology, superior strength, 110 yards, 12 pound test. For our on the water review, we're gonna test everything in the box, so I have to fish this. And we have a coupon here that they hid into the back. There's like all the different sizes and stuff that they offer. Uh, coupon gets you 10% off. Gotta get your box to get your coupon code, dude. All right, boring stuff's out of the way. Let's get to the rest of these good baits, eh? So we got three baits left in the box for top water, which is good. It means I don't have to try and catch as many top water fish. It'd be a challenge here. All right, so this next bait is actually by Bass Hick. Now, I don't know a lot about Bass Hick. I know that it is a small company, uh, and I know that they make some pretty good looking, good quality baits. So I'm excited to check this thing out. That is 
you know, it's one thing that I could say, like, I, I really like about these Monster Bass boxes is that you're going to get these, like, smaller brands, small operations uh, that are up and coming in the fishing business, in the fishing industry, if you will. Uh, so you saw way back in, like, December, we were first introduced to, like, rabid baits. And I've since been able to get those guys onto a podcast to really get to know them a lot better. We kind of message them every week and we learn more and more about the products that they're launching and they're growing. And I think that's super cool. I love seeing that. Uh, and Bassett could be one of those other companies, right? This could be a good up and coming small operation. So right here, we've got what is called the Big Anthony 2.5 because it's 2.5 inches. It is one third of an ounce. So this is a nice lightweight, small body, bright accent type popping baits. So this is a top water popper. Got some good looking trebles on here, lighter wire. So it's gonna be super easy to hook into some fish. You guys know how I feel about chartreuse. I mean, ugh, if it ain't chartreuse, it ain't no use, am I right? Uh, so we got some chartreuse tip head there, big black eyes, pretty sweet looking. Full body is white. We got that nice feathering tied on to the treble off the back. You've even got like these red specks on the belly, which I think is pretty slick. I like that. And then you got the orange under the mouth. So pretty good looking bait. Got a little rattle to it. Ow, 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 ow. The hooks are good. Okay, the hooks are good. Just stabbed myself a bunch of times. It's fine. It's all part of the job, am I right? Uh, scooped mouth here, as you can see at the front. Right, so that is what's actually kind of popping and spitting water as you use your rod to just like pop, 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 move it back towards you in the boat or on the bank. These things work great. I love topwater poppers. I'd love to see how this works in the water. And that's what we're gonna do next. We'll do our on the water review. We'll check this thing out. See if this smaller brand Bassic is really like up to snuff. See if we can catch some fish. Okay. Two baits left in the box. Last two baits we're gonna check out are both frogs. So we're gonna break this down. I got another smaller company and then we got a Booyah. So smaller company first, we're looking at Hendrix Fishing. Okay, again, a company I don't know a lot about, but I am always excited to fish new brands and see if you know they can compete with like the bigger brands. Bigger brands, just because they're big names, doesn't mean that they're necessarily the best on the market, and anybody in fishing will tell you this. I prefer to fish these smaller brands personally whenever I can. I love seeing them in these boxes, and this is gonna be probably no exception. This is a, a good color frog. Is there a color name to it? No, there's no name to it. Hendrix, name your colors. So we got a half ounce frog here, and this is a color that I don't have enough of. It's a white belly. Top body's like black and white. You've even got like some red accents on the side, which I think look really good. Uh, we've got that brown and black tail coming off of there. So simulating like some feet, some dangly legs from a frog. Uh, of course, you guys know pro tips, you can always trim these if you're getting short struck. You can trim one more than the other and it'll walk a little bit differently. You can do all sorts of stuff with these things. Uh, hooks, so hooks are definitely super sharp. The bait feels really good hollow bite, like the plastic is good. And that's really like what's gonna matter with the frog is like if the plastic is pliable enough that you're not gonna miss hookups, but not too dainty that it's gonna tear and now your frog sinks all the time because that would be bad. Uh, look at the eyes on that thing. Eyes look good. So I say like color look wise, the body wise, it looks really good. You can even see like, look at these, like the arms of the frog coming off the side. That's a cool detail. That probably helps it walk a little bit, adds a little bit of width there. So super interesting. I am excited to fish it because I love frog fishing. It's freaking awesome. So I'm gonna take this to a couple of lakes where I know top water action happens often uh, and see if we can't hook up on some of these top water baits. Last frog. All right, so we got one more frog to hit in this box and this is actually one of my favorite baits to throw. Uh, so this is a Booyah Toad Runner. This is the junior size. So I have like the big boy. I'm excited to have this. I do find where I fish topwater, like the smaller size, like for example, the Lunker Hunt Phantom Spider, uh, the smaller size baits get me more bites than the bigger ones. I've had Danny the Duck forever, for example. This is a giant hollow body bait. It's like pliable plastic, a little, a little stronger, a little bit thicker than like most plastics you're gonna see, but this is a big profile bait compared to something like this. Look, this is, Danny the Duck is double the length. 
double the freaking length. <laughs> so I do find like the smaller profile frogs tend to get me more bites. And you can see with the Booyah Toad Runner, you have a couple different things going on. So we do have like the skirt, little legs, danglies coming off the back, but then you got this big old boot, right? So this boot is gonna function kind of like a, a prop would on your prop baits or a, uh, even like a buzz bait kind of like. So this is just gonna spin, hence the boot here. It's gonna spin in the water, be kicking up a trail of water, kick up a wake right behind the bait. And that can draw some big attention from those big old bass. And they're gonna wanna come up and chew on this thing. Got still a pretty stout hook, maybe a little lighter wire than, no, even this, it's like the same. Yeah, still good stout hook. You can still punch this thing right through their freaking face. Uh, and yeah, I mean, overall, it's a fantastic bait. One that I use actually a lot. I think this is a good color for it too. It's like a more natural color with this like white greenish tinged belly. So looks good. Salad bait, it's a Booyah Toad Runner. If you guys have fished them before, you know they're pretty sweet. Uh, and, and this is like a pretty weedless prop too. So if you have like the Lunker Hunt prop series, those props are not as weedless as this bad boy right here. It kind of just kicks around through the slop and you can get through just about any cover with that thing. So I like it a lot. All right guys, so that's all the baits in the box. Last thing we got is our little insert here. We can see like, we feature some cool fisher people in there. We got good old Ben Nowak in here from Michigan. So this is a regional box. So they send me, you know, some descriptions on people that help pick the baits in the box. Ben is one of those guys. Another one is JC Dropshot. Uh, so I know if it's coming to my region, like guys from Michigan are hooking me up. They know what's gonna pop and work on top water this month. So that's extremely helpful. They've also got the value of all the baits in here. I'm gonna do a recap of all of that real quick. And then you guys let me know in the comments below, was this box up to snuff? Was this box the hashtag better box for the month? Uh, yes or no. And what was your favorite bait? Maybe your least favorite bait in the box. I wanna know. I think this is extremely interesting and valuable information for our community. So share it, drop a comment. Uh, so we'll go from the top down. So we got the Excite Baits Buzz Bait. This is valued at eight bucks, according to the card there. We got the Bass Hick Big Anthony Popper Bait. That's valued at eight bucks. We got the Booyah Toad Runner. That's valued at nine bucks. Try not to let these trebles punch my frogs, which does come with a spare boot, by the way. We got that Hendrix Frog. That's seven bucks. We got that Monster Bass Patriot valued at 10 bucks. Got those three katana hooks valued at three bucks. The Z-Man Finesse Frogs at five bucks slash uh, priceless because I can't find them anywhere. Stickers is free. And that Canine Floral coming in at 550 with a 10% discount that you guys can use if you go buy your own. All right, fantastic. We got through another awesome unboxing. I'm super pumped about this box. I love top water, man. No matter the baits, if I get a fish to go and just grab something on top, it's just a freaking fun time, right? So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully this was helpful for you. If you're on the market for boxes, looking for a better box for yourself to get on a monthly basis, this is the Monster Bass Regional Box. Uh, they do vary it up by region. So if you're not from the Midwest, you might see something a little different uh, and it might be more applicable to where you fish or the bodies of water that you fish because as a Monster Bass Ambassador myself, I know that these guys work with people in those regions to pick better baits for you. So we're trying to get more specific by region to make sure you're getting the best baits that catch you the most fish. That's what it's all about. And that's what we're here to do, right? This is what this channel is all about. I wanna help you guys make the right decisions, spend the right amount of money on the right things for you and catch more fish. That's kind of what we're trying to do, right? Uh, so if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe, smash that like on this video and ring that notification bell so you can see when we post more videos, remember end of the month, I'm gonna be comparing all the boxes we opened this month, Six Cents, MTB, Monster Bass, and Warrior Tackle Supply. I'm gonna throw you guys eight of the baits that we picked out from those boxes, as well as three bags of plastics, a shirt, a hat, and a decal from Burley Fishing. And I'm gonna ship it to one lucky winner that I pick out of the comments randomly. So stay tuned for that video at the end of the month. Thank you for watching today, you guys. You guys have been fantastic. I appreciate you very much. And we will see you on the water.